Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to talk about pound yen as price looks to be heading up to the next level of resistance being that 169 handle. So we actually saw the CPI year on year data come out of the UK this morning. It saw a drop from 10.4% to 10.1%. That could be down to some multiple factors. It could be down to the fact that the Bank of England have been hiking rates aggressively and that we may be seeing an effect of that now. Obviously, we still need to see some more evidence of that, but the pound traders or pound investors started to buy the pound this morning after that news data was released, meaning that they must see that as a positive as those inflationary pressures are coming down. So if we take a look at pound yen here, what could we be looking at? Well, prices smash through the 166 highs here. Again, yen, that currency that seems to be weakening quite significantly at the moment as that risk environment improves or the risk mood improves in the market. And we're breaking above that 166 now. So the next sort of logical level for us to look at on pound yen is 169. I have looked at some other levels as well, but you can see we had this kind of like triple top here at the 169 over a period of time. It kind of started in November 2022 and the last high formed in the 14th of December 2022. So those three kind of triple tops there are quite significant because especially the last one, after price touched 169, it fell to uh, 155.18 which was a 1375 pip drop so very significant selling pressure there like to see that sometimes because price can always come back and retest those type of levels and we're seeing that at the moment with price heading towards the 169 handle the level above that if price was to trade even higher above that was the 171 spot 50 those are the highs back at the end of october uh, again we saw quite a significant move down from there as well but mainly just focusing on this little bit of area here on pound yen we've broken through looking for 169 targets so what could traders be looking for well i actually mapped out the 147 handle as well if i just grab a pen tool here this 147 high i mapped in a little bit earlier today i was looking to see how price would react to that and you can see price has come into it and it's kind of had a little bit of a sort of double bottom there on a lower time frame if it was to go down into the likes of your 15 minute or even your five minute there you can see quite clearly that this is what i look for every single time price comes into a level and this is the reason why because you can see how powerful it can be price has come back down into the 147 handle previous structure level on a higher time frame it's formed that double bottom pattern and look how price has moved ever since we've rallied to the upside so you know if we're talking about the double bottom there it's around about 67 68 pips up at the moment so a good move from that level um i'd need to see a little bit more evidence i think you know although we had that nice intraday move if you're a, a dat a day trader that's great but if you're not a day trader how would you be looking at this market well you'd want to see price pull back into the 166 handle first before seeing a continuation up to the 169 due to your reward to risk ratio so that's something you can consider if you are a long-term trader thanks for watching this video update i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more of our forex trading content and i'll speak to you in the next video